In this lecture, we will cover theory of boundary value analysis. Let's first see what is boundary value analysis. Boundary value analysis is used to test the values that exist on the boundaries of ordered equivalence partitions. Let's understand this. Suppose you gave set of data. Then, at the boundary, you have to apply the boundary value analysis. Before going further, you need to know that there are two approaches by which we can apply boundary value analysis. First is two-value boundary testing, and second is three-value boundary testing. If nothing is mentioned, then you have to apply two-value boundary testing. Now let's see a few examples to understand both approaches. Suppose this is the requirement. An input field accepts a single integer value as an input, and the valid range is from 1 to 5. Here it is clear that 1 and 5 are the boundary values. Now let's see how to apply 2 value boundary testing and 3 value boundary testing. For 2 value boundary testing, you need to take two values outside the range. Here we have to take 0 and 6. For three value boundaries testing, you need to consider two values outside the range and two values inside the range. First, we need to take 0 and 6, and then we need to test 2 and 4. Now, if you look at both the diagram, you can clearly see why they are named two value boundary testing and three value boundary testing. Here at each boundary we are testing two values, one at the boundary and one outside the boundary. And here at each boundary we are testing three values, one at the boundary, one outside the boundary, and one inside the boundary. Now let's see one more example for more clarity. Suppose the requirements is field accepts the values 1 to 10 in increments of 0 0.5. For this requirement, this is our boundary analysis diagram. Now let's draw two value boundary testing diagram. Since the increment value is 0 0.5, we need to take one value outside 1, and it will be 0 0.5. Other value is 10.5. Now let's move to the three value boundary testing. Here outside value is 0 0.5 and inside value is 1.5. And here the outside value is 10.5 and inside value is 9.5. I hope that you understand the topic. In the upcoming lectures, we will cover more examples.